I was talking about volunteering just now, so I actually didn't get a chance to share my personal view. Uh, it's, it's very similar to these programs that are being done that seems to be uh, seen as a burden. Uh, I, I was forced to volunteer a lot uh, by my school, uh, by my parents as well. I didn't like it uh, at all. I wasn't one of those kids that actually wanted, I wasn't like Hong Leng that wanted to save lives. I wanted to just play computer games that kill people, um, Counter-Strike and the likes of that, right? <laughs> um, so, but I think um, as young people growing up, etc., we don't always make the right decisions for ourselves. Uh, and we sometimes need to listen to the adult or the, to the teacher uh, to do it. Doesn't mean we don't question them. We should question them till the cows come home. Why do I have to do this, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, my dad would answer why, why, why. My mom would just say, "Listen to me and get it done." Uh, but when I went to university, I was then on my own, and I got involved in sports mainly. And I didn't. But through sports, my physical attributes developed, but not my soft skills. And I actually failed a lot of the interviews that I went for right after university. I interviewed with McKinsey, Bain, BCG. I also interviewed with Teach First, the, Malaysia, the UK equivalent of Teach for Malaysia. Uh, I got rejected from all of them because I didn't have the soft skills at all. Uh, so I think I should have been listening to my mom and just get it done uh, instead of like, trying to play around all the time. Um, ideally, uh, at right now in Teach Malaysia, we're trying to figure out that same challenge as well. We're trying to figure out why aren't uh, young young people trying to do it, so we're trying to make it compelling in that sense. Yeah. Yeah. What?